This is the installation video for the Wode Jukebox which you can purchase from modsupplier.com. Wode is short for Wii Optical Drive Emulator. It is a device that will allow you to connect external media such as uh, USB hard drives, USB memory sticks, even SD memory cards to load backups of your originals on your Wii console. The device also enables you to use backup disks of your originals on all Wii drive types except the very latest D32s which have only been seen in Wii consoles from August, September 09 and onwards. The device will also allow you to play games from other regions on your Wii console as long as your Wii is running 4.1 firmware or lower. Uh, the parts that you can see in front of you are what come with the Wii jukebox. Uh, first on the far right here you can see the Wii uh, DVD ribbon cable the Wii power cable, the chip itself, the insulation sticker and the Wode jukebox USB cable, another ribbon cable there and the LCD screen which is where you navigate uh, your titles on your external media and a little button here which you can navigate the menu with. Uh, in coming firmware updates uh, the Wode is actually going to support um, external DVD uh, USB ROM drives so for the D32 drive owners, uh, you'll be able to connect an external USB DVD ROM and you will be able to load backups from disk uh, using an external USB drive. Uh, another feature coming with a, uh, a future firmware update is actually the ability to make a backup of your original onto the external media, be it the hard drive, USB stick or SD memory. They're also implementing an on-screen graphic user interface, which means that you can use either the LCD screen here on the front of the road with the navigation button or you also be able to do it on screen. So that's the brief introduction to the Wode jukebox itself. Uh, we'll now move on to showing you how to dismantle the Wii and uh, installing the, the Wode jukebox. Okay, now we're up to the step where we're actually going to take the Wii console apart to install the Wode. Uh, the tools that you'll need for this are the tri-wing screwdriver, the special tri-wing screwdriver a normal Phillips screwdriver and instead of a pair of tweezers to get the stickers and the legs off the Wii we're just using a small little flathead. You can use a, uh, a set of tweezers as well if you like. So and now we'll move on to uh, disassembling the Wii itself. First start, part of the uh, process is to uh, take the two flaps off the top. They're quite easy just to clip off. Then you'll have uh, three Phillips screws that you need to remove. We're using a fridge magnet to hold the screws. And then remove the black plate. Now once that's removed, you've got uh, two trialing screws that you need to remove. fold over the console and remove the little stickers over the screw holes here. I'll just zoom in for you. They're a little sticker. The little tiny flathead is actually a really good way of getting these off. Uh, we do actually sell replacement uh, kits uh, with the feet and the stickers. If you, uh, if you really want the Wii to look absolutely perfect you can buy a replacement feet um, and sticker set. We do also sell replacement screw sets as well so if you're a bit worried about uh, your screws and, and you want to be 100% sure you don't stuff anything up you could order a, a feet replacement kit and also a screw set as well. And once they're removed, uh, use the tri-wing screwdriver again just to remove the, the tri-wing screws. and there's four on the base. This is a brand new Wii so the screws are quite tight uh, so just, just be prepared to be gentle with it. Make sure you don't round the heads on the screws. Now there's the face plate. Be very gentle with this because it does have a very fine cable underneath. We've got to do the battery cover. 
using your standard Phillips. A little tiny trolling. Once again, another little sticker to remove with the flathead. And the Phillips head. the wee feet and again a Phillips head screw some of the screws might give you a little bit of trouble it's just best to be patient so this is the face plate to be very careful with. It's got a cable that is quite thin and delicate. You could use the tweezers to remove this, just be very careful with this cable. We're just going to remove it for safety reasons. Just gently pry open the console. The lid will come off and there you have the, the Wii without its cover. Now there's four screws around the DVD drive itself holding the drive in place. These are Phillips head screws. It does help to have a magnetic screwdriver if you can. The tri-wings are slightly magnetic but they're not overly strong so maybe make sure you've got a good magnetic Phillips. Now once the screw's out it's safe to uh, fold the DVD drive over and we'll disconnect the ribbon cable and the power cable from the drive. Here you have the ribbon cable and the power cable. Note that the ribbon cable you can see is a fold up flap. You just use your fingernail or the flathead screwdriver. Be very gentle with this. If you break this, uh, it's a costly repair. So be very gentle. As you can see from the video, it just folds up gently. You can remove the cable. Be very careful with this connector. Then you have the power cable. And the drive is removed. Now we'll uh, prepare the Wii uh, to put the chip in place. So uh, give us two seconds and we'll get that ready.